the Aliso Creek sand berm is a sand berm that shuts off the flow of the creek to the ocean during dry weather. This is a natural situation where the sand builds up, the waves kind of push in the sand and it builds up a natural sand berm. And then that berm shuts off the flow of the creek, separating the saltwater ocean from the freshwater creek. And it keeps those two ecosystems separate. And there are separate types of organisms that live in the creek and in the ocean. And then actually there's organisms that live in the berm itself. Berm digging is not something that's that's very typical. It's done for, for different reasons. It can be done for flood control purposes. It can be done just for recreation, which is kind of the purpose here at, at, at Aliso Creek. People dig out the berm because it's a very popular spot for skimboarding anyway, and it creates a massive rush of water out of from the creek to the ocean that creates a standing wave. And then they're able to jump in, surf that standing wave that's created. It's, it's very short term, it only lasts between 5 to 20 minutes, then it dissipates, then the creek is just floating out to the ocean from that point on. The issue with that is that there's that freshwater ecosystem and ocean system that have been separated. And when the berm is dug out, the water that flows out to the ocean and rushes out to the ocean, that carries all of that freshwater life with it. So the important thing to realize is that this is a marine protected area. As part of the marine protection, that includes the sand berm and that includes the entire ecosystem. So when people are digging out the berm, they're impacting not only the creek, the berm, but also the ocean right there. The rivers and creeks, they build up these sandbars or berms and they're blocked off. And then during winter storms or when the tide situations are right, they naturally breach. That's what they're designed for. When they're getting dug out on a regular basis, that actually changes the character of that ecosystem. Public access and safety is another important issue uh, of this activity. That water rushes out. There's, depending upon where the creek is, there can be a large difference in elevation between where the creek is and the ocean. So what that does is when the creek rushes out, it erodes away the sand berm and creates steep cliffs, uh, sand cliffs, very unstable, right on the banks of the creek. So that al not only makes it dangerous for people that are standing right next to it or trying to cross the creek, but it also strands people. So for instance, if you parked your car and decided to walk across the berm to north along the beach, and then the berm gets dug out when you come back, now there could be steep cliffs and a creek to cross, which you hadn't planned on or you know aren't prepared for. What we're trying to do is give nature a chance to recover and have a, a natural ecosystem in place. And if we're down there manipulating it all the time, then that's not possible. Sorry.